Welcome to Norton Chemistry. Today we're going to be doing a topic revision video on waters of crystallization, which is one of the harder topics in module two of A-level chemistry. Waters of crystallization is when water binds into the crystal structure of some ionic compounds, making them hydrated. Anhydrous compounds contain no waters of crystallization. So we need to be able to determine the formula of ionic compounds containing waters of crystallization. In a lab, we can heat hydrated compounds to, to remove the waters of crystallization in order to calculate the mass of water in the hydrated salt. So for example, Epsom salts are crystals of hydrated magnesium sulfate, which we represent as MgSO4 with a dot to show the waters of crystallization and the x just represents the ratio of water to the anhydrous salt. So in a, we, the sample is heated to remove the water. 1.57 grams of water was removed, leaving behind 1.51 grams of anhydrous magnesium sulfate. So we can use this data to help us uh, calculate the formula of the hydrated salt. So in this question that I've uh, set out, in part I, we need to calculate the moles of anhydrous magnesium sulfate. So we just use our moles equals mass over MR formula, and that gives us 0.0126 moles. And then to calculate the amount of moles of water removed, we need to um, divide the mass of water removed by the MR of water, which we know is 18 grams per mole, and that gives us 0.0872 moles. And then to find the value of x, which is usually what they ask you in exams, we're using essentially the same method as when we're trying to find the empirical formula. So we've, we've set out our table, mass, moles, simplest and empirical. So you can see more about this method in the amount of substance video on my channel. Um, but essentially we need to find the moles of each of our components and then uh, find the simplest whole number ratio by dividing by the smallest number of moles, which in this case is the moles of magnesium sulfate. So that gives us um, a, a value of uh, 6.92 for the uh, simplest ratio of uh, MgSO4 to H2O. So that gives us, and then we just round that up to 7. So the value of x is 7. However, there are some problems with this method of finding the waters of crystallization because we may not heat the salt enough to remove all the water. So we can avoid this, however, by heating to a constant mass, which means that when you heat the salt, over time you continuously check the mass, and if the mass stops changing, then you know that you've removed all the waters of crystallization. However, we may heat too much and the salt may start to decompose. This is why we need to continuously measure the mass at regular intervals, so as soon as the mass no longer changes between heating, we must stop the heating. So you'd, you'd have to heat a salt a lot, but it can happen. So we've got an exam question to go through. So you might want to go ahead and have a go, and then I'll go through the answer. So 13.2 grams of a sample of zinc sulfate, ZnSO4.xH2O, was strongly heated until no further change was recorded. On heating, all the water of crystallization evaporated as follows. So we've got an equation that they've given us. So ZnSO4.xH2O goes to ZnSO4 plus XH2O. Calculate the number of moles of water of crystallization in the, in the zinc sulfate sample, given that 7.4 grams of solid remained after strong heat. So the first thing we can do is find our mass of water that we removed. and that So we know we've got 7.4 grams of solid remaining. So that means that we've evaporated um, 5.8 grams of water and then we can use the same method as above to find our moles and our ratio to find the value of x so mass, moles, simplest and empirical and then we just set it out at the top our compounds so Z and SO4 and H2O um, so our mass of water is 5.8 grams, our mass of ZnSO4 is 7.4 grams, and then we need to divide 7.4 grams by the MR of ZnSO4, so 
which gives us 0.0458 moles. And we'll save that into our calculator using the recall function. And then we'll divide the mass of water by 18 grams per mole, which gives us 0.0458. And then we'll divide the mass of water by 18 grams per mole, which gives us 0.32 moles. We'll save that into our calculator as well. And then we need to divide by the smallest number of moles, which is 0.0548458. So that gives us 1 for ZnSO4 and for H2O 7.03. So then our empirical formula is going to be ZnSO4 and we're going to have 7 H2O. So our overall formula is ZnSO4, 7H2O, and X is equal to 7. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my website. I've got lots of resources available, including my A-level chemistry notes and my A-level chemistry flashcards, of which there are 899. You can also book a tutoring session to help boost your grade. We'll set up a remote session and I can book you in at a convenient time. Make sure to check out my other videos. I've got lots of exam question walkthroughs, past paper walkthroughs and revision topic videos to help you achieve A-level chemistry success.